real quick video. I have a Toro MX5050 zero turn mower uh, with the Kohler 7000 series motor, the KT735, 24 horsepower. And I was having an issue with it running. It would run and then shut off. Periodically it would start back up fine. When it shut off, I would crank and crank and crank and crank, nothing. That has started getting more and more frequent until it just wouldn't do it anymore. So I started tearing into it. So originally thought it was the carburetor, took that apart, cleaned it all, put it back together. Yeah, I got a broken gasket right there. Um, thought it may have been the smart choke, this piece down here. It wasn't that. Um, tried all kinds of different things. Checked the fuel pumps, put new spark plugs in it, everything. Then I got down to the electrical part. Started looking on YouTube, didn't really see anything in particular, but I found a whole lot of videos about these fuel solenoids right here on the bottom of this fuel bowl. So I took my carburetor apart when I was cleaning it, took that out, and checked it. It was working, but when I turned the key on with everything put back together, it wouldn't do anything. Got to looking anyway, right here where the this is the wire that plugs into the fuel solenoid right there. Right up here, this wire right at the connector that was on here from the factory had I guess wiggled in two or corroded one or the other and was completely broken in two, barely touching. So I put a new connector on it. Well, that didn't fix it either. So continued tracing the wires, traced all the, you know, the red wires back that way from this plug, the red wires back this way, through the wire loom, down through this first connector here. I had continuity both ways. So this red wire, after it goes through the plug, becomes that yellow wire. Trace the yellow wire all the way around underneath the machine and it goes into the back of this um, park I guess it's the parking brake mechanism because when you move the levers out you know this applies the brake to where it won't start so I found the yellow wire right back here going into the back of this plug so I tried to take this all apart and couldn't really get into it. It's pretty solid. But then I noticed this plug back here was a little bit loose. And if you can notice now, I have some duct tape um, rolled up pretty tight right there and wedged up underneath of it as to lift up on the back of that plug. Well, with that pressure on the plug, the uh, fuel solenoid works perfectly fine now. I uh, forgot to mention whenever I was checking it with my voltmeter that it was only getting like 5 volts back here. So I knew there was a, some sort of short or a diode or something going on. Anyway, come to find out, long story short, that plug right back there on the back of that, this mechanism here, the wire plug going in, somehow or another is loose. I don't have time to fully pull it apart and rewire it right now. I want to get my yard mode before the end of the season. But I wedged something up underneath there real tight. Works like a charm. Just wanted to uh, inform you of that little bit so you don't spend hours and hours tearing everything apart, chasing it like I did. Hopefully it's uh, a loose plug right there. Check that first. See you.